when cohere releases a model it stays released what i mean is that so far whatever model cohere has released it always has lived up to its name and quality whether it is command command r plus or aya models cohere has always delivered just a few hours ago they have released this update to this their flagship model command r plus this text generation model the command r plus has already won the accolades from the industry and from the peers worldwide just a few hours ago they have released this substantial update and from that update there are two things which have really made me so happy first and foremost they have added 64 attention heads and eight key value heads in simple words what it means is that now it is going to use eight times less memory as compared to original command r in this video i will not only explain to you what exactly this new update to command r plus model is plus i am also going to get it installed in a quantized format in lm studio and then we will try to play around with it i will be very upfront i will try to get it installed but because it's a huge model and i don't have a multi gpu uh, hundreds of gpu vram setup i only have a vram of 48 gpu vram courtesy mast compute on this vm which they are sponsoring so i will try to get this quantization version installed there and see how it works it will be a quantized version so it won't be as a uh, you know spot on quality as the original one but we will try if you're looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount okay coming back to this in command r plus command r plus as i mentioned is optimized for conversational interaction and especially long context tasks it aims at being extremely performant enabling companies and individuals to move beyond proof of concept and into production if you lean very heavily on very complex rack pipelines and if you use agentic software with multi steps then command r plus is for you it is really really great for both of these but if you are just looking for a simpler rack and single single step function calling just go with command r and now this new update as i mentioned is only for command r plus model at the moment in this new update they have following uh, special updates for example for tool use it is simply out of this world they have really made it very very performant with improved decision making these updated models are much better able to follow instruction included by the user in the preamble it has got better structured data analysis for structured data manipulation and it has got an improved robustness to non semantic prompt changes like white spaces or new lines now model is also going to decline unanswerable questions so it will not hallucinate it will not make up it will not fabricate anything and you can also execute rag workflows without any citations so this is an open weights research release of a 104 billion parameter model with highly advanced capabilities including rag and tool use for sophisticated use case the tool use in this model generation enables multi step tool use which allows the model to combine multiple tools over multiple steps to accomplish difficult tasks it's a multilingual model trained on 23 languages and evaluated in 10 languages it is optimized for variety of use cases including reasoning summarization and question answering and the license is cc by nc so you would need to check it out i don't think so you can use it commercially the context length is 128k which is quite cool okay so 
and by the way it is only text only and it's an auto regressive language model and optimized transformer architecture after pre-training this model uses supervised fine tuning and preference training to align models behavior to human preferences for helpfulness and safety they have also used group query attention to improve uh, inference speed and the languages are 23 as i mentioned they include various european languages ukrainian romanian italian summation languages and also chinese japanese arabic and few other languages okay so let's go to my lm studio and see which context version i have got so this is my lm studio where i have just searched for c4 command r plus with august 2024 update and you see that there are few updates available one is from lm studio but i just gone with this bottle whiskeys one and then on the right hand side if i just select this um, then you will see that this is, was a recommendation from lm studio to download because there could be a partial um, offload to my gpu so, and i really like this new feature from lm studio where you can simply see which one this is recommending because it already is aware of uh, my configuration so hopefully this will fit on my gpu and we would be able to test it normally i don't really feel good to try out this q3 quantization level normally i don't even go below q4 normally just stay with q5 or q6 but let's see how it goes still you can see that even with this one the size is close to 46 gb and you can see that i have already started the download it is going to take a bit of time already it is around 18 gb done and there are 11 minutes remaining so let's wait for this one to finish and then we will see how it goes and download is finished and now it is just checking the checksum making it ready and while that finalization happens uh, let me show you one more thing now not everyone has even rtx a6000 right and because if you're really looking to do complex rag stuff and you want a really high quality from a 104 billion parameter model then of course you would need to use an api from a hosted version for that you can go to cohere.com and in their playground you can access that the good thing is that you can sign up for free and then you get uh, quite a generous amount of credits to play around with it in their playground and also you can check it out in the um, api based so once you are logged in to cohere.com go to the playground at the top uh, right and i'll show you so if you look at here at the top right there is a playground option and i'm already in that one on the right hand side in the parameters just scroll down and you will see a lot of coherence models so there we have our command r plus the august update and i have selected it and now you can start chatting with it so i'll just bring it down a bit and this is where you can give a lot of um, commands to test this model out so for example in this prompt i'm just trying to gauge its multilingual capabilities plus reasoning so i'm asking it a Spanish-speaking customer, Carlos, is visiting a Japanese restaurant in the U.S. He asked the waiter, what do you recommend? In Spanish, of course, the waiter who is familiar with Spanish recommends a sushi combo. And then I'm asking it, how would you as a writer, a waiter, respond to Carlos taking into account cultural nuances and language differences? Let's click on run here. Let's wait for the output. There you go. You see how good the speed is. And then look at the response so waiter says that he is happy to uh, help out and then it has given us a very very nice response in spanish and then you see uh, there is an english translation which looks really good and then also it is uh, telling us the response as in my response i emphasize the authenticity and popularity of sushi combo among hispanic customers acknowledging the cultural background so it is totally sticking to my prompt and its guidelines so this is a beauty and the quality of these command models okay so let's go back and check if it has finalized not still it's a big huge model let's see 
Meanwhile, let's try out one more prompt here. Here I'm asking it, write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty. Let's check. You see, even this mod <clears throat> model has failed this very simple question. The first one doesn't end with word beauty. Second is fine. Even third failed, fifth failed, and a lot of them have failed. <clears throat> but just as a fun fact, Llama 3.1 uh, 405 API based gave it perfect answers even GPT-40 was spot on anyway let's try out another simple yet very hard question for LLMs so I'm asking it how many R's are there in the word strawberry let's see two R's right you see it missed there are three R's so I don't know why but even these simple questions most LLMs they fail and now from the same playground, let's check out its multi-step uh, capabilities, which I was mentioning earlier. So for example, if I say it, um, summarize recent news about the North American tech job market. Let's click on it. You see, this is the recent news. It is just going on, checking the internet, using tool use. And if you look at the top, it, it is saying that chat plus tool use. If I click on under the hood, this is the whole code it has used. This is a request, temperature and all that stuff. And then it is giving us a response like this. And then there are a lot of others which it has done in stepwise. But look at this response. How good is that? Isn't it amazing? Amazing, amazing stuff. Okay, just sorry. <clears throat> I just clicked here and then you can access it. A lot of examples like this. I really love it. And then if you click on chat here, this is a new one. You can also select a lot of other options here, copy and paste. And on the right hand side, this is a preamble which I was referring to. You can even switch on JSON mode. There are a lot of connectors uh, through which you can do the rag here. If you switch it on, there are a lot of, you can do web search or you can provide it any of your website of choice. And then there are various <coughs> hyperparameters which you can set here okay going back to our lm studio the model is loaded let's click on load mode here and then let's see how it happens let's wait for it to get loaded let's cross our fingers okay eventually the model is loaded let's try to run it right 10 cents and en sentences ending with the word beauty don't expect lightning fast responses as you might have noticed in other models because my VRAM is just 48 GB and this model, even the quantized one is 46 GB. So let's wait for this response to come back. And here is a fun part. If you remember, uh, most of the answers from the full model were wrong. But look here, quantized version, very, very low quantization of the same model. The first two are totally correct. They're ending with the word beauty. And as you can see, the inference is so generation is very slow. So I will, it is just going one by one, one by one. So I will let it run and then show you how it goes once it finishes. Maybe I'll just go until five. Because it is way too slow. And there you go. If you look at the output, it has got some of them are correct, like this first, second fourth and then nothing afterwards so far seventh this is not so yeah so it's really struggling but still i think quantized version giving me three correct responses out of seven is quite good okay let's try out this one how many r's are there in strawberry and just due to the size <clears throat> of the model and my poor gpu there is slow inference so let's see uh, there is only okay seems like it's not really going anywhere with this one there's only so this is the wrong one and that is expected from the contest one so <clears throat> this is what i was referring to earlier anyway still pretty excited about this new model um i believe that if you're looking for a quality model i think command r plus is always a good choice or safe choice so that's it um let me know what do you think <clears throat> again just to reiterate if you're looking for a translation model 
for a very complex multi-step rag agentic software then this is a good choice but the full model not the quantized one let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching